Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo elections. Obaseki honored as cattle dealers back governor's re-election bid. Wow, this is fantastic. A man of honor always gets honor. A man who takes people, who takes people as priority to make them happy, to make them well looked after. Any man who is looking out for people and saying, you will be good, you will be better, and putting things in order in the life of people will always be honored. Well, we all know what is going on. 16 days, yes, yeah, 16 days to the all-awaited uh, do elections. Yes, yeah, so 16 days to go. And uh, we'll be going to the polls to know who the, uh, the governor of Edo State will be. And as such, you know, our campaign are in full swing. Uh, we heard what happened to Adam Sushumole as they were going on one of the campaign. That's what everybody has been doing to get, you know, to solicit for votes from the people who are able to cast their votes to say, I am the reason why, you know, this is the reason why you should vote me in. I have this and this for you. One of such people has just endorsed Governor Gordon Obaseki, the cattle breeders and rarers dealers in Edo State. They've come out in mass to stay with the governor and said, we are with you, Governor Gordon Obaseki. You are a fantastic man. You have, we've seen that in this state, you know, we see other, what other people do in other states, but your state is quite different. You have made the state habitable. You have made the state wonderful. You have made it peaceful. And so what we can do is to support you. And we want to give you our assurance that we are going to make sure you are re-elected. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Governor Gordon Obaseki has been honored as the most astounding governor of the year by the Nigerian Association of Christian Journalists. That is not even the main issue for now. Cato's dealers in Edo State, who during the pandemic has described Governor Gordon Obaseki as an outstanding governor, aside the honor received by the Christian journalists, have said, we will support you. Come September the 19th, we are mobilizing all Kato wearers in the state to come alongside Governor Godwin Obaseki. You have made the state a true state where democracy, equality, and the rule for human honor is reflected. We see how you've been governing the state, how during the pandemic you made sure that things continued. We would have died of hunger if you had behaved like other governors who shut down the whole system, but that you did not do to us. You made sure that we could continue with business even with COVID-19 protocol still in place. What a governor you are. For this you have done for us and you have made the environment friendly. You have made us be able to go about our business freely. We are happy to work and to trade in the state because it is habitable. We want to say, Governor Gordon Obaseki, we honor you. We honor you and we are going to support you. We are going to support you come September the 19th. Everyone in the state who is a cattle breeder, everyone in the state who trade and deal on cattle in this state will be voting for you. We are leaving out and we are telling you that you've got our vote, Governor Godwin Obaseki. Well, this was Governor Godwin Obaseki when he went on one of the world campaign. The, the, the chairman of the uh, cattle breeders and the state came up to him and they came together to say, Governor Gordon Obaseki, you are our choice again and again. Come September uh, the 19th, we are voting for you. You have our vote. They were assuring him of their undying support and pledging to tell him that they will vote for him. That is the candidate of their choice. Well, the September the 19th is around the corner. And uh, yesterday, the Oba of Benin had a serious meeting, not only with Governor Gordon Obaseki, but also with two past governors of the state saying, please let peace reign in Edo State. And they pledged to peace to the extent that the Oba made them to give a hug and they both, you know, uh, gave a statement with regards to their pledges for peace. And uh, he told them, go and talk to all your people. Everybody must lay down their arms, which they did, which is quite good. And uh, you see, this is what we are talking about. There is so much, you know, people are happy. They are happier. And um, 
this uh, cattle breeders came to governor governor Bakteki and said sir we want to say we are honoring you and we are going to honor you with our votes come september the 19th you are our choice again and again and we'll make sure that you get re-elected we know we see how especially the pandemic the pandemic for them was the was the was the big one they said during the pandemic governor Gordon Obaseki gave them opportunity to be able to trade you know there were some other states in the country that you cannot even you can't even move you can't even go i mean I mean, we all know about it. Apple Line Media, we reported issues as things were going on in the country. We are reporting to you live how things were happening, you know. Governor Gordon Obaseki in Edo State, it was different. It was quite different. Rather than, you know, shutting out the whole system, rather than shutting down Edo State, he did not do that. What he did, rather, was that he made sure that people could go about their business, yes. And again, he made sure that there was... You know, there was coffee and there were there were things to put in place so that, um, you know, people, you know, do not uh, get, do not over, do not take it for granted. And at the same time, people are able to go about their business. So the state does not suffer. People do not get hungry, people are able to, you know, and it puts a lot of things in place. The cattle rarers in those state said, well, we will sing how you've governed the state. And it's only a man that is blind that will say you have not done well. Uh, it's only a man who is really blind i would say you have not uh, you have not done well so we want to say that they, i mean he did not go and meet them they are the ones coming to say we are giving you our vote we are giving you our vote we are saying it out loud and clear to you that you are choice again and again and we are voting you in so people this is what is happening this is what it is um i want to say to you that um, the september the 19th is around the corner but the truth of the matter is you need to be informed so that you can adequately vote for the candidate of your choice don't just go and vote for the sake of voting sake no vote with you know let your heart vote what i mean by that is you know who at the end of the day you want to vote so don't let anybody come okay and just and just give you words here and there vote for the person you feel you think deserves to be a do state governor what are the things you should be looking out for as you vote vote for integrity vote for honor vote for somebody who has a do state in heart vote for somebody who wants a do state to move forward vote for somebody who knows that who you know will you know will enhance development in the state vote for somebody who you know you know has a heart to bring about transformation vote for somebody who you can see and you know for sure will help edo state to move forward creating job opportunity for the youth you know bringing things and uh, you know introducing things that will move edo state forward you know it, it's high time that we leave that we leave all this um you know all these uh, uh people giving us rice ten thousand naira here and there and because of that we sell our future if you do that you'll be selling and mortgaging the future of your children what is important here is that every one of us rise up to the truth and say you know what we are voting in the candidate that will make sure a do state move forward the ball is in your court september 19 around the corner 16 days to go vote wisely god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now